An art academy in Oakville trying to help recently arrived Ukrainian kids feel like kids again. They're offering free summer camp programs to help them transition to their new lives here in Canada. Maddie Ingram has more. Singing and dancing, storytelling and drawing. These are some of the skills being learned at the Oakville Academy for the Arts summer camp programs. A real blend of all of the arts. We're all about building confidence and uh, building your skill set too. And beginning last week, a growing number of recently arrived Ukrainian children are getting to take part free of cost. Like seven-year-old Sila from Kyiv, who just began his new life in Canada with his mom, while his dad stayed behind to defend the country. Today, he's practicing his drawing skills with this portrait of a robot playing guitar. He wants to be at home, but he likes uh, to be in Canada easy. 32-year-old Maria Zachenko is translating for him today. She escaped the war and arrived in Canada in June, leaving the dance studio she owned and ran outside of Kyiv, where she had built an impressive career as a dancer and instructor. She now works at the academy, which she says has eased her transition. I am doing what I'm used to do uh, at my home, and it makes me happier and feel more comfortable. Zachenko was hired by academy founder Heidi Schofield, who approached the Ukrainian church helping resettle new arrivals to offer the free camps. Relocating a family is such a big deal. I can't even imagine. Um, under these circumstances, it's far different and far more difficult. I just figured it would give moms and uh, aunts and uh, grandmas a chance to get everybody settled and let the children have some fun in the meantime. By sheer luck, Schofield was connected with Zachenko through the church, a match that has benefited both of them and the Ukrainian children. They feel more comfortable, of course. At least they have uh, me here to translate. If something's going wrong, you see, it's really important uh, not to feel alone when you really you're alone here. For example, I came by myself. I know no one here, but right now I have uh, lots of people around me. The Academy hopes other children's organizations in Oakville also begin offering free programming for Ukrainian newcomers. Matt Ingram, CHCH News. Oakville. All right, big change for Toronto Blue Jays. The team has fired manager Charlie Montoyo after losing eight of their last 10 games. Bench coach John Schneider will serve as interim manager for the rest of the season. He's been with the team since 2002. The Jays have 46 wins and 42 losses so far this year and hold the third and final wildcard spot in the American League. Bubba O'Neill will have more on this story later in sports. Burlington City Council has approved a tax on hotel and motel stays to boost tourism. The Municipal Accommodation Tax, or MAT, would be charged to guests beginning on October the 1st. The City of Burlington says the 4% tax would initially generate between $450,000 to $700,000. That money would be used to support new tourism initiatives, attract visitors and strengthen marketing efforts. 50% of the funds will go to Tourism Burlington, while the rest will be used for city initiatives. 40 Ontario municipalities are collecting or are in the process of collecting the mat, including Oakville, Mississauga and Toronto.